Hi you guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing and today we're gonna bust some myths about millionaires. What comes to mind when you think of a millionaire? If you're like most people, you probably think fancy cars, elaborate mansion, frivolous, over-the-top lifestyle, right? Lifestyles of the rich and famous. In reality, the real lives of most millionaires are much different than our stereotypes would suggest. So let's clear up some of these misconceptions and let's take a look at some of the most common myths regarding what the life of a typical millionaire is really like. So myth number one, I think, is that millionaires are frivolous with their money. You know, one of the most commonly accepted myths about millionaires is they're living some extravagant, crazy lifestyle. You know, McMansion City, right? And think about this, Warren Buffett is one of the richest men in the world. He still lives in the same house that he bought for $31,000 in 1958. It's a five bedroom, two and a half bath in Nebraska, and he's never upgraded. I've been by his house. He didn't invite me in, I can't imagine why not. Uh, and it's just a regular house on a regular street, okay? In fact, my Uber driver lived right down the road. Bill Gates drives to and from the Microsoft offices up in uh, Seattle in a Ford Focus. Yep, he's got himself a Porsche in the garage with his billions, but it's never been his everyday ride. Uh, Sam Walton, who, who built Walmart, was famous for driving in a pickup truck and just living in a regular neighborhood. I could use myself as an example to a certain degree just because a lot of people think that having money means, you know, treating yourself constantly. My favorite car is my Ram truck. And guess what my wife's favorite car is? Her Ram truck. And guess what? <laughs> yep, we got two. And guess what my favorite place to get a bite is? Mm -hmm. Chipotle, and those people who know me say, probably number two is Golden Corral. So while I can confidently say yes to the upcharge for guacamole, yeah, I think you get the point. And true, we do have a couple of toys. So my point is that millionaires who have enough money to afford all of the frivolous purchases in the world still often to choose a much more frugal life than you might expect. We're not all out there, you know, living it up on Wall Street. The very traits that allowed these people to become millionaires in the first place came from being frugal in the first place and cautious with their money, and that continues even after they've earned a fortune. So no, all millionaires are not wild spenders. Myth number two, millionaires take a lot of risk. They took risk to get there, they take risk to stay there. For some reason, most people assume that becoming a millionaire requires that you take a bunch of risk with your money. I mean, my family, blue collar, you know, out of Arkansas, my family thought people that had a lot of money did something really risky. In reality, millionaires invest in things they're sure will make them money in the long run. At least the ones that are certainly gonna get to be millionaires do that. Millionaires have learned that success requires you to minimize your risk as much as possible, rather than chasing risky investments with kind of reckless abandon. The same thing when it comes to investing. Instead of treating the market like it's a casino, people who've made millions in the stock market learned to just put their money into investments when they're certain those investments will turn a profit. For the average person, this is really good news, right? You don't have to take undue amounts of risk in order to make money. In fact, the SEC wants you to know that, you know, you're supposed to, when you go into the market, you're taking a lot of risk. The fact of the matter is, risk is deeply related to what you know. If you know a lot, you're taking a lot less risk than if you know a little. In fact, the best investing approaches are those that seek to minimize risk as much as possible. And I will grant the SEC this, you never get rid of risk entirely, no matter what you do, right? We're not even sure the sun will come up tomorrow. But that being said, while there are some exceptions, most people who became millionaires are really cautious investors, very conservative, who try to lower their risk as much as they are able. And I would argue with the SEC that the great investors out there are actually taking less risk buying individual companies than you are taking putting your money in an index fund. Myth number three, millionaires all start with plenty of money, right? 
you ever heard the old adage, it takes money to make money, then you understand why most people assume that all millionaires start out with a lot of money in the first place, right? Like a guy who starts out on third base and thinks he hit a triple. So in some cases, this is certainly true. After all, plenty of people are born into wealth. There is such a thing as generational wealth. But strangely, and this is amazing what the New York Times reported, is that people who are wealthy find that the next generations pretty much deplete that wealth on a regular basis, where people who are born poor can climb to the top in America. So in some cases, this is certainly true, right? After all, plenty of people are born into wealth. But for every millionaire that was born into wealth, there are two or three times more self-made millionaires that started out with no more money than the average person. And that includes people like you that are using investing to live a life of freedom. So many millionaires started out as ordinary, everyday people, just like you and me, at a normal job or a weird one like a river guide, and a normal income or a really bad one like 4,000 a year. So some millionaires earn their fortune by starting successful companies. Okay, fair enough. But the majority of people who become millionaires do so through investing in individual companies and then living it up in retirement. When it comes to investing, the old adage that it takes money to make money, not necessarily true. When I first started investing, I was a Grand Canyon River guide living in a teepee. In five years, I was a millionaire. Now, if I can do it, let me tell you guys, you can do it. You don't have to take a bunch of risk. You don't have to be born with a bunch of money. You don't even have to like investing. You just need to be willing to follow a simple set of rules, begin the practice, and then repeat it until you're rich. Think you can do that? Now, I'd love to hear from you. What other myths about millionaires are out there? Let's see some good ones. Leave a comment below with your answer and I'll be sure to follow up with you. And thanks for watching, you guys. Now go play. If you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you more about investing myths, hit the like button and please share this video with your friends. And if you want, you can get more investing content just by subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. It's awesome. And thanks again for watching.